Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about Curve Quad Fill. Now th this is a great brush because you can just pull out geometry any which old way you'd like to and it doesn't even have to be the correct shape because you can adjust it afterwards. Uh, so let me explain. Now it starts with C so let's press spacebar, go to the brushes palette and that displays all the brushes that are available um, within this window and then curve quad fill so C and then Q curve quad okay that gives us that brush curve quad fill and then then you have to be you have to start your um, mesh or you have to click on your uh, whatever you have to uh, start the quad fill so you 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 know you could rotate and stuff but that wouldn't really get you anything um, so if we pull out an arm let's make it really bumpy right there and then let go that gives us this shape that is um, a little strange but then we can go with inside it and you notice how the um, uh, these lines are, um, I don't know, moving. You can click your mouse with inside that to shape it however you want to. So if you had like a, you know, a good idea of what you were trying to make, um, this would be very, very helpful. Yeah. Oh, Control Z. Um, if you go outside the line, like right here, and you're trying to move it, and you create another quad fill, you can press Control Z, and it still lets you work with inside the, um, you know, editable curve quad fill region. If you click near the edges or the the ends, here, this is the start and this is the end. Uh, you can rotate uh, this wherever you want to and um, another thing you can do is you can use your move brushes or you can use all of your brushes up here move you'd have to draw draw out a line to move it wherever you wanted to or scale it however you wanted to uh, or rotate <coughs> Okay, that, that's nice. And then move it right there. And then you can still go back to your edit mode. But if you do, um, wait, let's see. If you start editing your object again, it will bring it right back to where it was. So just be weary of that. Well, this is a great brush to um, really quickly pull out geometry. Okay, let's see. If this was an arm, then that should be right there. Then rotate, click and drag, then rotate that. Or that looks kind of like an ear, so I, I don't know. Okay, then control and click and drag to undo everything. And then let's let's make some more quad. So let's. Uh, go to our brushes palette then C and Q right C Q okay that brings back the brush so oh that's cool apparently you can still work on it that that's pretty nifty so or create a new brush and it it can look like anything right and you can always um, go inside it and move things around and shape it however you want to this is a great brush to get a general feel for what you're trying to create, um, which is nice. So this brush has lots of fun uses. And then let's see, move, click, uh, click and shift, and move this. Okay, that works. Okay, then click and drag to uh, deselect everything, and yeah. So everybody use this 
use this brush often. The next brush will be Curve Standard. I'm excited to show everybody how this brush works. Thanks, everybody. Oh, and if anybody likes these um, videos that I've been making, I plan on uh, discussing every one of these brushes and go one step further and talk about all these um, all of these brushes. Okay, these are folders, and inside them there are brushes and. So there, there is a lot more than just these brushes. But um, if anybody's interested in what I'm doing, uh, please subscribe and uh, keep these videos live. Thanks.